All right, so I just had another set of uh, PC speakers come in the mail. So um, yeah, this this is the Orpheus uh, stereo gaming speaker and soundbar from Red Dragon. So I'm expecting a, a bit more from this than I am from the last set of speakers I did a video on. Um, those were um, extremely discounted. Now this is not expensive at all, but um, you know comparatively it's pretty expensive. So um, yeah, this is you know they they. And look, look at that, I guess you can orient, orient them like this, even though, um, I, I don't know, that kind of makes more sense to me, but whichever whichever works, I guess, preference or whatever. But let's open these up. So, I, I, so my impre what I'm guessing I will get with this is really good. I'm, I'm guessing I'll get pretty good quality at a, at a low price. I think this is probably a good deal, but we're gonna test it out and see. Now, I'm far from being, you know, an audiophile or anything. I'm basically just a casual technical user, but um, yeah, let's let's give it a shot. All right, so not much here except the packaging. A big mess of cables, which I've never seen a set of speakers not have a big mess of cables unless they're Bluetooth. And here we go, rip this right off. All right, so these look pretty decent, pretty reasonably good build quality, not super heavy, but you wouldn't expect them to be. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We have both, um, we have a headphone jack and a microphone jack. So that, that's pretty pretty neat, um, great feature and everything. Um, what else? You, you can see there's two speaker drivers in here and um, maybe some something else in there any anyways um yeah so this one is actually usb powered so you could plug that into your laptop or pc or something so that's kind of convenient you don't have to plug it into an outlet um and there you have your uh you you have your microphone plug and your uh your your audio plug your your yeah plug that into your 3.5 millimeter jack and um yeah so that's that's a pretty good deal um yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a lot from these. And look, look at that. So you have these two uh, feet here. This actually has padding on it. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to, actually these these hook together. Look, look at that. I didn't even notice that at first. So you can hook these together like this. Now we actually have a sound bar. So that that is actually pretty neat. Um, let's give this a try. How, how's this gonna work? All right, so... Um, yeah, look, look at that. It stands so yeah. You, you can't tell with the camera angle, and I'm not. I'm not about to change that. And, and look, look at that. I, it came with a sticker too. That that's kind of nice. Um, it'll remind me to buy uh, Red Dragon products next time. All right, so uh, there we go. That's it. Um, so you have your volume control, which is also a power switch. So it turns on and then volume goes. However, yeah, and your your two jacks right there. So that's that's basically it. We're gonna test this out. Um, with my iPad. I'm not gonna actually play the music for this video because I, I don't have any non-copyrighted music that I can come up with at the moment. But, um, uh, so, you know, I, I'm not allowed to put any copyrighted music in my video and I don't have any non-copyrighted music um, readily available. I do have some actually in my uh, directory that I add to videos, but I don't have that on hand right now. So I'm, I'm just gonna test it out. You wouldn't be able to tell recording like this anyways, but I'm gonna test it out in, um, come back and and report on how how it uh, performed. All right, so I've just tested it out, and um, yeah. So actually, um, first thing I'm going to point out, um, probably not something you care about. Um, the, these look, would look better in darker lighting, but you can see these actually have uh, these actually light up red. So um, yeah, that, that kind of looks nice, but that doesn't help the performance of the speakers at all. Now these did not perform as well as I thought they would. Um, they just weren't as loud. I mean, they're not bad, right? But um, they sound pretty decent, not incredibly smooth and nice like um, some of my other pairs of speakers that I have. Um, they don't come with a separate subwoofer, to be fair. Um, so I, I guess in my head, what I'm comparing these to, um, like I have other speakers that are about this size that also come with a separate 
Um, I'm actually not sure what's even inside here, if that's supposed to be like a small subwoofer. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm used to, to a set of speakers with like a big box like this for the subwoofer and, and the, the two uh, left and right speakers are gonna be about that size anyways. So they're, they're not quite, you know, they, they don't compare with the performance of that, but they're, they're still pretty reasonably good. A um, little bit better for music. They'll, you know, you should probably be able to hear it anywhere in the room and it's gonna be reasonably loud if you wanna listen to music but it's not going to, you know, it's not gonna shake the building and you're not gonna hear it throughout the entire house unless you're playing it at like 3, 3 a.m. and everyone's sleeping. But yeah, generally it's not, they're not super loud. They're not, you know, it's not like booming heavy sound or anything, but um, it, it's reasonably good, um, way better for, yeah, def, definitely pretty good for watching movies and YouTube videos. It's, it's way beyond what you need for that probably. Um, you, you know, it's, uh, it's as, as far as like actually, it's it's pretty pretty good quality sound, but as far as actual um you know it's not audiophile stuff by any means. It's it's far from that, and it's um. It's it's basically it's not super loud, but they're they're loud enough that you you pretty much could do whatever you could possibly really normally want to do from your from your uh, PC. Now uh, that that'd be a whole another story if you, story if you were if you had some large event or something like don't plan on bringing this to some large event or party and having this be your only source of music, um, that that might not work out as well especially if you were outdoors, um, you know like a small gathering maybe but if there were a ton of people it, it just probably wouldn't quite do it. You might want something a bit bigger, or a lot bigger really. But you know given these are relatively affordable. Um, not anywhere near as affordable as the last pair that I reviewed, but these are relatively affordable PC speakers. They should be fine for all your regular gaming needs and uh, and uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and that that's about it. So if you just want something good for sitting in front of your PC, or or even maybe just watching some movies at a slight distance in your even in your living room, these should get the job done. But um, yeah, not audiophile quality and not loud enough for like a large event with a ton of people so that that's basically it hopefully uh you know hopefully if this is the kind of thing you were looking for um there should be a link down in the description um which will show you where you can buy them on amazon and uh you know if uh, hopefully this helps you if, if you were researching these speakers and you happen to find this video hopefully this helps you make the decision hopefully i'm not steering anyone wrong so um thanks for watching guys uh make sure you hit the thumbs up button leave a comment down below and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.